Good evening. Um, uh, we have uh, this uh, CTO SFA, right SFA, and a 66 years old um, a female was referred to me for CTO recanalization, which was found during the heart catheterization. And here is the angiogram. Patient has severe claudication symptoms in the right side. And see the CTO. There is diffuse disease in the um, uh, SFA starting proximally, but then this tool is kind of like the channel is not clear. This um, was done through the brachial uh, axis, and this is a long um, uh, catheter. Initially attempted with run through coronary wire and uh, 2 O balloon, and then advanced on the multipurpose guide. The run through did not pass it through the distal CTO segment. And here you see it's going through a false lumen in the dissection plane. I did angioplasty and uh, IBL lithotripsy using 4O balloon to improve the flow distally. Still we have the CTO segment. Here I exchanged the wire to glide, stiff glide wire, supported by glide catheter. Um, also did not pass it through the um, CTO cap here. And here's the injection through the glide catheter distally. Here I opted to um, proceed with angioplasty of the mid to uh, proximal to mid segment to allow advancing the catheter without damping pressure. And here I use the 60 millimeter Boston Scientific Illuvia stents and then post dilated, of course, using 60 millimeter balloon overall proximal to distal and then advance more the long sheath inside the stent without damping pressure and here I use the um, uh, stiff glide wire supported by the glide catheter and here you see the wire went through the CTL segment landed in the um, popliteal artery and then here we advance over the glide catheter exchange the wire to um, uh, J wire which is safer distally and here to confirm that we are in the true lumen after advancing the glide catheter, you inject distally. And you see we are in the true lumen. Here I give some IA nitroglycerin as well. And here I use the um, drug coated um, uh, balloon first, 5 ohm millimeter. And then overlapped the stent with another Boston Scientific Illuvia 6 ohm millimeter stent. It's landed perfectly actually distal or proximal then of course you're gonna dilate the stent with the 60 balloon at higher pressure and here is the final result 
course, there is um, uh, some disease distal, but unless you have uh, retrieved the flow below the knee, and you have some uh, disease in the posterior tibial artery, maybe in the future we work on it, but for now we have decent results. Thank you for watching, and have a good night.